This is like a really fancy dance. If you watch a lot of people, they, they can hardly get their dog to walk on leash. So if you think about what's going on with your dog in agility, we have to run fast, we have to run slow. We have to get them to do all these obstacles in order, because there's an order to them, and stay within qualifying times, because the courses are timed. It, it is so rewarding to know you can do something with an animal that is so complex, and they work with you. And like I said, it is like a dance, and when that dance, is smooth and you get it. That's the fun part. Who cares about the ribbons and the winning? It is knowing that this little creature that does not talk your language is willing to do anything for you and you can run with them. And, and they're pretty much like, okay, that was fun. Can we do it again? How cool is that? He <laughs> asked him to do it. Okay, let's do it again. I want to do it again. That's the fun part. That is really the fun part because this is complex training. And as I tell my new students who've never done agility before, it's like, you know what? The dog will learn pretty quickly. It's the human learning to communicate with a dog and run with a dog through this process that's the hard part. That's where it gets hard. Absolutely, yeah. I, you know, we call ourselves dog trainers. We're not. We're people trainers. We can train the dogs. Give me your dog, I'll train your dog. We're people trainers so they can train their dog, so that they don't need me in their back pocket 24-7, that they can go home, understand the concept of, concepts of what we're doing and how the dog understands. You want your ball? Okay, go weave. Weave, weave, go. Good girl. Yay, there you go. So she just goes through just to get her crazy ball. So <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't take much once you get them motivated. Hi, sweetheart. Drop it, please. No, drop it.